was a really big surprise for me was that when you look at the way that they beat JDG, it wasn't just with these style of comps. They actually opted into more team fight from T1. And I'm going to be looking towards how are the junglers able to punish the oh, lack of flashes. Flash. W is fake against the charm. He stops it to the skies, but I don't think it's going to be enough because his flash is already down. And first blood goes to Xiaohu. Certainly has. And now Faker is going to dash in, finds the charm under the top catch. Faker has to get out of there, though. Can't be a snare for the hostile takeover. Gets so much work done to devour it for the kills there. But oh no, Xiaohu now going down low as Faker dashes forward once again. But it looks like they'll have to settle for one and a Herald. And Weibo give up the Herald and a kill. Exactly, and maybe going to lose some farm down on bot side as well, because Chris has no TV, but Zayas. Nature's Grass comes in, he gets pulled back. He's interrupted from the ultimate. Zayas does get a knock up there and a shield, but I think he's still dead. And there it is, the answering kill from the Shy. Uh, owner is here though, it's going to be a 2v2. Zayas taking a bit of damage as the Q comes down. There's the ulti. Nature's Grass, but look at the knock up, the kickback. Weiwei punches him out of oh! the Dawning Shadow Blade through to help get the kill onto Zayas. It looked good for T1 and Weibo struck back. A big push, and you can see Guma. Of course, yeah. you have to carry, compare that with Crisp's goal. Oh, brings him back in with a twisted advance, the kickback as well as Weiwei gets out the punch. And now Shahu coming on in. Owner's gonna burn down and no bailout for you. Lights in a bit of trouble for the charm. He's not gonna get it done because Crisp is there with the, den the denial with the devourer. But it looks like Weibo isn't even gonna give him the opportunity. It's oh, no! Oh, there's the kick flash. Shahu's gonna be pushed into Faker the flash forward, but the charm is going to miss. What? But Pierce doesn't land it. Shahu just walks it up. No worries there at all as Crisp is under the turret. They throw down Zayas. Harold, but Zayas has found two with the ultimate life. Goes down so low, but isn't going to survive. Weiwei trying to get himself out of there, and the Shy is given up on. Weiwei running the wrong direction, but they at least get the dragon. Weibo get the dragon, but T1 get the kill. Shahu lucky to get out of that one. If you're out, it allows you to oh, harass Guma. your opponent, but Guma. Could be in a bit run. of trouble here as Chris looks for it. The immediate cleanse does get out of the way. Nature's Cross isn't going to connect, but there is the twisted advance. Hostile takeover across everyone, though, but the Shy is just gigantic. Guma trying to hop away. The fates call the knockoffs. And meanwhile, Weiwei is going down. Faker collects it before falling down. Chris has to go, though, because he's so incredibly low. And Zayas is tearing them to shreds. Weibo lying on the floor now as T1 looked to tidy up Chris. And they won that team fight even better than the loss. Guma refuses to go down. I feel like they don't need a reset to try and break open the base of Weibo here in game one of the finals. Nature's Grasp flying forward. Ona still has that GA. Oh. Remember, Chris going down so incredibly low. Zayas just executes the Chai up to the side. And there is another one. This guy's Yone is just absurd. And the inhibitor is going to go down. Weiwei is burning there as well. As now Xiao, who tries to be the hero, but it does not work out. And I think T1 are just going to end game one here. And the early game, T1 not able to get a bunch of crucial kills, but they don't let it face them. They are able to find the one skirmish they're looking for, take the Baron. No, I don't think it was. I think it was more down to an execution. Now, I think you did have advantages for T1 when it came to, hey, if you are a T1 fan, I imagine that that is definitely going to cause some pain. But this is really, really fun. Zayas really fighting fire with fire there towards that top side once again into the Shai's Aatrox. It's going to be interesting. The owner was in top. Yeah, Zayas dashing forward. The needlework is out. Snip, snip. Going to connect, but doesn't do too much. And in goes Ona. The flash oh! out. Oh, was incredible from the Shy. Ona oh! gets taken down to, oh my goodness, about one health. But will be able to walk away. But I don't think he's going to be excited about ganking the Shy anytime soon. Although what? Zayas is just going to go. Farm it up. He didn't want to lose the wave, but he's the one who goes aggressive. Now he's going to get zoned off the bot wave. So T1 Whoa. punishing so heavily here. Yeah, the flash forward from Carrier finds the handshake this time. The Infernal Chains come in. He's lit on fire. He's feared, and Kuma Yushi catches here. He is healthy, and he's got the ultimate back. They're going to look for it, though. Yeah, we'll see what he can get done here. The flash twisted advance comes in, and now Zayas just trying to do what he can to stay alive. It's working! And he's going to be able to dash back towards the minions. Now Faker turns up. He's got his own nature's grasp, but Shahu is going to join this one, and Zayas is running the wrong direction. We'll see how much time he's going to be able to buy here, because maybe this is an execute as he heads toward the turret, and there it is. Oh! The flame, that big title they've been chasing, but Zayas showing up so far. Yeah, another teleport to come in here as they do manage to secure this Rift Herald. We'll see where the Weibo can get themselves out of here. Light's going to be hostile takeover, but he's the only one, and now Zayas looking for the target. Faker dives in, though, as well. He's going to collect the first with the help of Ona. The Shy goes down the rest of 
that Weibo will scatter, but they do. That is going to get there. The Drake going down very, very low, and now the paranoia comes in. Baker looks for the Spirit Rush, and he does find it. The hostile takeover is massive, and they get rid of Light immediately. Weiwei taken down for the double kill for Ona. Xiaohu now trying to get some damage in the back, and it does take down the Nocturne, but it's Chris fighting on the bottom side of the map for Kumiuchi. This early game started. He has been cashing in, and Weibo trying yeah. to start something here. Here's another one. The Nature's Grasp, they all line up behind, but it's a decent charm to come through there. Hostile takeover for some phenomenal disengage, and it looks like T1. They don't want to deal with it. Faker dashes over the wall. Remember, they don't have a turret here. The Charm is going to split them. Carrier tries to get it. Oh! The he goes forward and then just explodes. And then Ona thinks that that's his moment. It's a double again for this Nocturne. And he survives the logistics. And being able to see these iconic picks and their comfort is working out so well. Oh, paranoia comes in once again as the flash out from the Shy may not be enough. They're under the turret. Ona was tanking it up. There's the paranoia as they look to try and burst down the Baron. They do collect it, and now the hijacked ultimate comes through from Baker. Now Zayas dives in. He's taken matters into his own hands. He hasn't taken any damage. Wei Wei has to run away. He gets thrown back by the Bramble Smash, but the damage is already being done. Baker goes gold and does have to flash. His light's doing a fair bit of work. If you try to collapse, Nocturne presses R. You don't know how many people are coming. You don't know how many people are responding. And T1, they're looking for more. Yep, Shahu already taking a bit of poke damage. Light will turn up. As four members are here, teleport event not available for the Shy, but they dive in. The turret goes down. The needlework just rips the center to shreds. And Zayas just by himself destroying everyone. Hostile takeover comes in. Light has the cleanse. But you can't cleanse death. It's a triple kill for Zayas. And they'll get to work on the inhibitor. It might just be the game right here. Zayas playing like his namesake. A god. This guy is going crazy in the finals. Just and extraordinary assist helps clear up this second Nexus turn and T1 at match point already. Tell that invade owner heavily and see if they can find a way into this series. And in the previous games, and in a lot of the games where T1 have looked as dominant as they did, it's all about the lane prior. The flash Q3 from Zayas. The Shy is in trouble. The lightning rush is on cooldown. He gets slowed down by the cripple, and the Q's going to land. Oh, no. Away Whoa. as now they come in. Oh, the grand entrance. Phenomenal from Kerry. We'll see whether he can survive, though. Oh! He's running out of the piercing arrow. will do it. Three versus one. He does try and get out. There's the world ender. He's trying to avoid all of this CC, and it's not going to work. There's the kill for Weiwei. Well, came in. The try still has a CS advantage. Lightning rush to get him out of there. Arizona just mini stun kick into the wall. That is going to be the execution, but the ultimate is going to be there from the shine. After the flash, he will survive, and now it's Weiwei's turn. Can he actually get this one as owner? About 50%. The safeguard to try and get out the oh. flash for the knockoff. It's still there, and Crisp comes in for the kill. They get some knock up Zayas will survive but not Guma and Karia are so hard to attack in a lot of these situations oh Q going to connect there nice little knock up as Karia tries to find it there's the quickness on Tattoo the kick gets the knock up onto Xiaohu the Empress of Ida only gets Ona but that will get him out but Weiwei's not going to be so lucky the Shy got in here and now he might be in trouble he breaks the chains but is he still going to be able to get out Gumiyushi decides he wants to fight light towards the bottom side now and Weibo lose out on the fight. Because Karia is on that sideline. They know he's there. Yeah, he flashes in. He finds himself. The charm on the four is there. It is the ultimate from the Shy. But it just doesn't quite do enough. They try and get out. But Fika has the perfect execution. And locks down his fellow ninja. Xiaohu now taking a whole lot of damage in Faker. He's in the shroud. He's toying with him. It's a double kill. What? Over. And back in again. It's a triple for Faker. Zayas is going to be out of block down the next one. Faker. Really been impressive in team fights. And it just feels like a rejuvenated oh. Faker. And he goes again. As now Ona looking for that opportunity as well. Backflip connects also. as the perfect execution. Comes forward. Has he overstepped? The answer is no. Because he had the stopwatch anyway. And now the cavalry comes in. Chris. He's under a turret, oh! Zayas flashes on top. The lethal Aatrox going to get it done in T1. They're going to get the next Baron, and they're going to win the series oh. in Carrier. Going to get knocked up here as Ona comes on over. He's here to protect his support. The quickness ties them all up, and Xiaohu going to be the next target. He finds two with the Empress Divide, but Crisp just evaporates. Weiwei going to suffer the same fate as Zayas is on the warpath. Light able to sidestep, finds the chains of corruption, but there's not enough damage. Xiaohu decent flash to try and get himself out, but he's not out of the woods yet as Faker tidies up that kill and they are just so far ahead. Ona 
secures light with a sonic wave and the shy finds himself alone heading back towards his base that's the double kill that's the clean ace for t1 and t1 that it's heartbreaking as now they take a magical journey over Zeus. he likes this one though one versus three he's absorbing so much the emperor's divide it comes in but he's still alive what? it's going on baker tiny's on the first everyone's just exploding as Weiwei trying to get something done but it does not matter t1 are too strong four times t1 has lost in a vein five four times they've been knocked out and four times Seven years since their last, a decade since their first, the SKT legacy has been reignited. T1 will be your 2023 world champions. was their name when they had the first three and now this team that so many adore will finally hoist the summoners cup and they've waited for it last year the story wasn't about them